Guys, this is how I set up my Garmin Striker Vivid 7S V. Okay, this is the Yak Attack cell block. Guys, this is how I set up my Garmin Striker Vivid 7S V. Okay, this is the Yak Attack cell block. So inside here is actually my battery. So you see, this is zip lock back, right? Just to waterproof the battery. Because this uh, cell block is not waterproof, water still can go in. So you have to use a plastic to cover your battery. So this is the transducer for the Garmin Striker Vivid SV <coughs> for the side view. So there are three three cables here. If for the 5 CV, there is only two cables. Yeah, for the clear view uh, and also for the power. But for this, you have the side view cable as well. Okay, as for the cover, this is from Belipro, which I personally buy uh, to protect the cabin. And the new addition, what I just bought is this uh, Yak Attack uh, camera mount, pen freeze. Uh, pro camera mount so one thing good about this is that you can just turn any angle you want so there's just one switch here this is the lock and load system so with that switch you can just switch you can just turn left or right you want and then just lock back very simple once you lock it's not lock see so this is where I mount my GoPro 11 Okay, some of you were asking about this so this is the double header uh, which you can attach uh, this lock and load system right from Yak Attack right you can actually attach anything so if I decide to remove this I, I decide to put the Omega Pro rod holder I can just attach the Omega Pro rod holder onto these double headers this is the Yak Attack double headers which uh, I used to just clip in my pedal just like that however if you do not wish to put pedal, you can remove this. You can unscrew, unscrew the nut below. You remove this rubber piece, there's a nut below and a bolt and nut. You remove and actually you can put one more uh, double header here and one more, eh, sorry, not double header. One more lock and load system here, one more here. And you can have actually two rod holders coming out here. You can attach two rod holders or you can attach the Yak Attack cup or whatever yak attack accessories that use lock and load you can actually mount here so these two and for me i prefer to use it for my camera and for my pedal so my pedal is out of the way uh, not affecting my hull okay another thing that i bought is this mighty mount uh, system mighty mount uh, yak attack track uh. okay this one uh, for propel drive from kayak king right you can actually mount because there's uh, mounting holes here on the propel drive itself it's very strong so basically you can actually put this camera pole and attach direct to here then your camera will be facing facing you directly in front uh, which is an, uh, an additional if you want to add to your uh, accessories uh. if you have more cameras as for me i only have uh, two cameras so one i mount on my chest and the other I mount on this uh, pole. So this is uh, what I mean by the lock and load system. So basically you can just uh, remove remove this switch, remove the whole thing, push it in and lock it in. And with that I can actually uh, arrange either I want my camera to be on the left or on the right side. Yeah, so this is the lock and load system huh? if you can see there's a switch here you can just pull uh, if you press you can actually just turn see very simple <laughs> that's why this is what i like about yang attack so once you lock it in you cannot turn it really see 
once you lock you once you push it down in you cannot turn it anymore so it's good that you guys uh, invest in this type of accessories uh, this is how i set up my kayaking kakawi trail 